안녕하세요. 서울 강남 치과 배정인 원장입니다. Hello. I am Pae Jung Eun of the Seoul Gangnam Dental Clinic. Last time we looked look at the anterior implant prosthesis and today I'm going to talk about abutment selection. So these are the items I'm going to cover today. Up to summary, seven items. So let's review the last lecture. Anterior implant aesthetic consideration needs to be made. So with the screw type provisional crown that can imitate root and transitional zone of the natural tooth, you deserve for gingiva molding and support. And with that, the proper emergency file and the running loom can be acquired and the screw type temporary can also be used as a tool to communicate between the clinic and the lab and with the proper remodeling if the gingiva is formed then the shape of the provisional that the patient was satisfied with plus if gingiva even the internal rotting room in the way that can be eliminated you take impression and with that you make final abutment emergency prior with the provisional crown and rotting room are imitated or referenced uh, to be used for the abutment selection or to design abutment and the material of the abutment needs to be aesthetic one so it should be acceptable but have should have acceptable abutment shadow and should be able to compensate for future any potential margin of recession so if you look at the overall process of the entry implant, I also talked about aesthetic consideration to be made. And the timing of the implant installation, I said immediate early is more favorable. And gingiva molding, uh, customizable abutment or related to uh, using that would be more favorable. Uh, wider teeth, central incisor, and for canine, customized abutment or these tools should be used for uh, smaller teeth like the lateral incisor or the anterior lower part ready-made abutment sometimes is sufficient and sufficient gingiva molding tools or screwed abutment is used then it helps a buckle volume increase now in gingiva molding starting point if it's possible, uh, immediate would be the most uh, best option and the molding period should be as long as possible so that it can minimize any uh, changes in the shape. And taking impression, customized impression coping in terms of imitating running, you know, it's the best option. But using CAT cam, then without uh, using this type of coping, the temporary running room can be taken as a reference. So copied temporary running room can is transferred as design for the final abutment and made aesthetic. And the final impression, it's better to do it abutment level. And if possible, you can minimize gingival steps by doing with scanning at the time ultimate level scan. And what you scanned outside the oral, you do two times. In other words, a double scanning method is better. So if possible, immediate loading and immediate uh, temporary needs to be created and molded and running room is imitated so that aesthetic uh, materials, a customizable final abutment can be used. That is the most aesthetic pathway. <laughs> So what I'm going to talk to you in this lecture is customizable and aesthetic final abutment. First, uh, abutment materials and parts need to be selected and then you will design the abutment. Now customizable and aesthetic, I said, are two uh, keywords. And when you say uh, customizable in abutment, it means emerge profile area, running room area, and finish line. And finish line, you have inner and outer uh, finish lines, and also top cap. 
Or at least I say top cap. I don't know whether it's official terminology, but it means that the upper part and the three things are customized: emergency by finish line and top cup. For the screws type, you customize crown on top of emergency profile, and also in abutment aesthetic first. The running room area, the emergency profile area, color also needs to be aesthetics. So titanium color or metal color being exposed in the if it's thick biotype, the metal color is not a problem. But if it's a, if it's a problem, sometimes you uh, give cold color with a titanium coating or through anodizing. Then you can have gold color, and uh, sometimes you do it with uh, a white color, zirconia abutment, or porcelain. Can, in other words, can be used. So, customizable abutment is what I'm going to talk to you. Now, customizable abutment, there are about six types. First, temporary abutment. It's not for final, but it's customizable temporary abutment. So, let me explain. So, temporary abutment, it's used for creating screw type provisional, and we do create model or create shell crown into orally. And shell crown in and this abutment, you drip the resin and connect them, and then appropriately abutment post side is cut, and create you create screw type abutment. So mostly when we didn't use CAD CAM and did analog way, uh, we used this approach and mostly the diameter is on the base side above 4.0 and GGBA height is 1, 2, 3, so it varies. Now, if we want to have, have more convenient abutment uh, cutting, then plastic can be used. And also, the most popular way uh, in the custom abutment uh, would be this uh, titanium abutment. Now, titanium abutment, as you see, this type of one-fit abutment exists. And here, you, with the titanium nitride or tin coating, uh, you give gold color. And like this type of processing at the lab using a milling machine, it's uh, uh, produced. So for this aesthetics, uh, it's given with gold color and customizable area is of the three areas I talked about, it's all customizable. So in aesthetic area, link abutment is very much used. And this is screw type. And on the right side, this uh, what I'm showing is from the OSTEM uh, catalog PDF file. And link abutment in the digital age, it's become more popular. And in creating screw type provisional, it's this is used. And if not screw type, but on top of link abutment, mesostructure or abutment is connected. And 4.0, 4.5 4 diameter, and it has uh, various uh, uh, sizes and open type it's, it's easy to follow lingual contour and if you use angular screw it's better but in terms of link abutment mesostructure or screw type temporary fits in there we uh, connect it with the resin cement so it's not really durable as much so you could have a cylinder type or the open type depending on your requirement and as you can see on the right side 3d steel file is the a screw type abutment and as you can see there is a connecting part and here uh, you use the resin cement to link the link abutment if you link a, a crown it's one thing and if it's a meso structure then it becomes zirconia abutment
So link abutment and top structure, resin cement, uh, and as I said, is used. And the, to create running room, root and crowns, we connect as S-curve, and sometimes we add or cut resin to for gingiva molding. And design for custom customizable abutment on the gingiva side, we say concave shape is better. So run ring rave and concave, and the crown parts, this uh, curve, if that is consider considered, we call it S-curve. But as I said in the last lecture, uh, this too smooth S-curve is not so good. In the gingiva, it should be a bit uh, separated. So that uh, would give you a more aesthetic uh, temporary. So mostly link abutment, as I said, is used. Oh, and also, this screw type abutment creates running room and then to transfer that into final like this on the cat cam the final screw type shape or form is uh, superimposed like this Next, uh, when we use link abutment to create a screw type temporary or customized uh, temp abutment is used, but sometimes we can also use stuck abutment. Link abutment, gingiva's height is 1, 2, 3, and the uh, diameter was up, starts from about 4.5. So gingiva height is about 1, and the diameter is 4.5, and stock abutment that of that size used on top of that crown, including running room, uh, is uh, designed and put on stock abutment. And then, like link abutment, of course, you have to use final cement. Then it the screw type temporary can be used as if it's link abutment. And theoretically, the, on top of stock abutment, you can create mesostructure, but mostly we don't really do that. But in temporary, it's actually very much possible. Now, multi-unit abutment, and for this multi-unit abutment, in the, the connected fixture, and it's as if it's turned into external. One, its uh, diameter starts from 4.8, so link abutment, stock abutment compared to that, it starts off a bit thicker. On top of that, the metal cylinder is there and it also comes with thickness. So the starting point of the running room uh, in customization, you have to start with the bigger diameter. And on top of cylinder, prosthesis is connected and you can see how it's connected at the bottom photo. Metal color is exposed, so it might not look at aesthetic, so you have to be very careful in selecting appropriate case. But here, mostly in the aesthetic area, rather than using this abutment, you use link abutment, and this abutment is mostly you know, multiples for immediate temporary Processes to, you know, external is less sensitive, so you mostly use uh, this one for temporary. And the ultimate structure shows it's favorable for using of the angle screw. So if you select uh, good cases, fitting cases, you can create good processes. And this abutment uh, has the same part aesthetic row, so impression coping or using analog. Uh, not digital, analog processing, in other words, is possible. And customizable abutment, uh, gold casting abutment that used to be popular, or MP casting also exists, but it has not less become uh, popular these days, so I will skip uh, these parts. <laughs>First, what I recommend is zirconia mesostructure. In other words, uh, zirconia abutment using the link structure. Uh, for this person, abutment put in and crown is pu put in, and gingiva is same color as uh, what's around. So gingiva is a bit thick, so any abutment would have uh, been okay. Next case, 
Again, on top of jinjiba, temporary abutment is used, and bottom side, uh, you attach temporary, and the right bottom uh, is final crown. So jinjiba shadow looks rather natural. And in this case, also the same. Here, uh, I did it in my early days. So abutment design-wise, it's not that elegant. Next, especially if the gingiva is thick biotype, then met general metal abutment, if you adjust the margin position, then you can get good uh, aesthetic result. If you compare these two, it's at right after abutment, the top one, so it looks a bit uh, pale, but after putting in the abutment, the shadow is not that severe. For this patient, compared to the other patient, it's thicker, so abutment color uh, is uh, okay. And also, uh, general abutment, we put in gold color. And for this patient, it's not my patient, but gingiva looks rather th uh, thin. So rather than general abutment, titanium nitride coated gold colored abutment seems to be compared to general metal color uh, negative impact from shadow is uh, minimal but still there is a still a bit of metal feel there inevitably this is my patient and of course to the patient on the anterior side i ask whether he wants zirconia abutment or general abutment. Let the patient to choose. Of course, zirconia is a bit more pricey, but here uh, gold uh, temporary was used and slightly gold color was exposed. So we switched on to another abutment because the patient did not like it. And abutment was a bit showing, but aesthetically it was okay. So gold color abutment and gingiva color uh, can be, uh, we can compensate, but there, if there's a margin recession, it will be difficult to, to compensate. Hence, in the aesthetic zoom, the first choice should be uh, link abutment, uh, zirconia abutment. Next is on the anterior side, if ER type, which has retrievability, and if you want to use that, then of course you can deliver on the palatal side and it will be okay. If not, you have to use uh, angled screw. And angled screw, the screw hole of the, in the abutment needs to be a bit angled. So manually, you have to do a bit uh, cut cutting, especially uh, stuck abutment. And depending on where you cut, you have to also create a hole on your prosthesis. As for the link abutment like this, you, if you use open type, uh, the screw hole can be angled. But uh, there's a limitation also. Sometimes uh, you do also do have to do some cutting. And if you cut link abutment, then in terms of retention power, the crown that goes on top of it, the mesostructure abutment can be not really hold for long. So I don't recommend the cutting link abutment. So custom abutment, titanium abutment, you could also do some cutting, but we call this angled screw uh, channel, and the screw hole, uh, you can design to be angled, but even with this design, uh, there could be issues with milling. So if it's like uh, general processing on the shelf, you cannot create this angled design. So zirconia with the disc, you have to do a uh, milling to make this. But if you use the milling machine, then you also have to cut the connection apart. So in using this abutment, you have to be really cautious. Next, multi-unit abutment. So the structure of multi-unit abutment on the left side, link, if you see the link abutment, screw compared to cylinder is a bit on the lower side, but the multi-unit abutment uh, screw is on top of cylinder. So if you give angle, the metal 
part uh, is not uh, hinged. So if you have to twist the direction of the uh, screw, sometimes it's better to use multi-units. Next is about things to be considered uh, in the abutment selection. I'll keep uh, this part short. First is about space. So abutment and gingiva and process material uh, space is what I'm talking about. And space if, space if sufficient and with the stock abutment um, is possible. But if the process and gingiva space is not sufficient, if the process space is not sufficient, then top uh, part should be custom abutment. And if the gingiva space is falls short, then gingiva abutment might be better choice. And about the abutment with the, the process type, you have the screw and cement and ER types and screw type compared to ER type, it's a bit different. Crown and abutment is in uh, as go, comes as one, but creating this one, MP casting or and pick casting or the gold cast or link abutment uh, are the only ones that can do. So you, only two options available for this type of approach. And for the cement type, the screw hole position, if it's not important, any abutment can do. And for the stock abutment or custom abut all possible, but gold cast abutment or link abutment could also do uh, to create the cementation type of abutment. ER type, if you use this, the you have to also put a hole on the prosthesis. So if you don't place it very well, it's, uh, you can have a very tricky situation on your hand. So if the placement position is good, any abutment will do. If not, angled screw needs to be used. Uh, so you should uh, make a, use abutment that allows you to use angled screw. And uh, diameter sh uh, should also be considered for aesthetics uh, before extraction. The uh, Having same diameter as natural teeth uh, would be good. But to match the diameter, of course, in central lateral incisors and canine, there's recommended um, sizes. But using ready-made abutment is better for aesthetics. Next, gingiva height. If the gingiva height is too low or if it's too high, then natural running room can be not created. So gingiva margin or the margin, margin of rule, about three millimeters of the uh, depth is the recommendation. So gingiva height, if it's three millimeter abutment, then natural abutment emergence profile can be created with stock abutment also. But as I said, if the gingiva height is, even if it's low, then the red line, this crown area's running room can be adjusted to have more aesthetic uh, results. And that's what I already said. Then biotype. Thin, if it's thin biotype, then the, you have to use more aesthetic abutment. So gold color or zirconia or abutment should be used. And link abutment could also be used. Casting type abutment can also be used, but on top of abutment, create metal structure and their opaque material porcelain could be also used. But here, oh, it's not easy to polish if it's opaque. So if you don't polish, then gingiva's health could be damaged. So if it's a thick biotype, then whatever the abutment, abutment shadow, doesn't really create aesthetic problem, so any abutment type can be used. But if the gingiva margin changes and result in recession, there could be exposure. So even in thick biotype, if possible, aesthetic abutment, in other words, zirconia abutment, in, uh, man, it, due to many reasons, it will be better. <laughs> Yeah.
So summary, now from last lecture to this lecture, consistently uh, I've been saying that on the anterior aesthetic uh, zone area, if possible, after the immediate um, loading after extraction should be done so while the gingiva is preserved or extraction socket is preserved then by using screw type temporary gingiva molding and support should be done and screw type temporary root and crowns that transition zone uh, uh, should be reproduced as much as possible and through that and also you have to have sufficient time for remodeling and once you think gingiva has stabilized then final uh, you take impression for final abutment and the impression for final abutment temporary running room needs to be imitated hence customized impression coping it would be the most ideal choice but if you use CAT cam, then whatever impression you take or whatever scan you do, temporary outer part can be uh, reflected. So any limitation on impression taking becomes less important. And also provisionals uh, created running room to Im imitate it in the final. So running room is not symmetry. The, therefore, it's better to use customizable abutment and the color it impacts aesthetics. So for me, on the anterior aesthetic zone, my first option is using zirconia abutment or so structure abutment. That's my recommendation. So I talked about on the anterior prosthesis what you need to take into consideration. I hope this has been very helpful to you. Thank you very much.